GN Evening News at 4. Booker County Sheriff Tom Dart wants state lawmakers to crack down on untraceable so-called ghost guns. He says the growing problem in Chicago has to be addressed at the state level. WGN's Mike Lowe joins us now with more. Ben and Lourdes, good afternoon to both of you. It was back in April that President Biden announced a federal plan to crack down on ghost guns. But because federal gun legislation traditionally moves very slowly, if at all, Cook County Sheriff Tom Dart now says the state must begin to handle the problem on its own. The notion that somehow we need to have guns like this that have no markings on them, no serial numbers, no ability to be traced is absurd. And the last thing we need in our community right now is not just more guns, but guns that can't be traced. Cook County Sheriff Tom Dart is joining with state leaders who say it's past time for Illinois to ban ghost guns. What is a ghost gun? Pure and simple, it's a gun that is untraceable. It's a gun that can be constructed using parts that you can easily get on the internet. The handmade guns are typically purchased as do-it-yourself kits on the internet, which allow buyers to bypass background checks. The guns represent a growing problem in a city that is already threatened persistently by gun violence. Chicago police statistics show that just five years ago, in 2016, Chicago cops seized only two ghost guns. By 2020, that number was 139. We're seeing an explosion of it. We're seeing more and more. State Senator Jacqueline Collins introduced the legislation and wants it to be fast-tracked in Springfield. The proposal would make it a crime to buy or sell ghost guns. If the bill were to be passed, Illinois would join nine other states that have laws already that partially address ghost guns. This bill is very straightforward. It says that guns like such as this, they are not traceable, are no longer be legal in the state. On the federal level, President Biden proposed closing the loophole that allows ghost gun buyers to avoid background checks. An NRA spokesman said, quote, the proposed rule would do nothing to address violent crime while further burdening law-abiding gun owners and the lawful firearm industry with overbroad regulations. I am speaking to you today as a gun violence survivor. Gun safety advocate Delphine Cherry, a mother who lost two children to gun violence, says ghost guns only help violent criminals. These are not the typical firearms. They are assembled in unregulated kits purchased online or in person with no background check. And according to statistics from the ATF, the number of ghost guns seized by law enforcement around the country has jumped 400% in just the last four years. Back to you. Mm, all right, one to keep watching. Thank you so much. Well, Illinois is making progress.